Hello everybody, this is my guide to my expensive build this week. It is a wander because last week I made a wander and I really liked it. Uh, and I had an extra character um, that I want to try out. So this character is an Ascendant. Uh, the main reason why I chose the Ascendant rather than Pathfinder or Raider is because of reflect issues. Um, Wanderers do a lot of damage very quickly and especially scaling uh, critical uh, multiplier. Uh, reflect becomes an issue of uh, one-shotting myself. So in order to protect myself from uh, reflect, there is the Pantheon power to give 25% reduced reflect and uh, Elemental is giving 50% uh, Elemental reflect taken. Um, so Sign became a natural choice for me to choose as a wander. I chose Elementalist and Assassin uh, as my ascendancies uh, because of the flat 1.5% to crit chance and the crit multi and the uh, power charge generation. The 1.5% flat is very helpful with uh, helping cap crit because uh, you always want to be critting things and shattering um, and sitting at 61, 62% uh, comfortably and with the diamond flask cup I pretty much have cap crit. <clears throat> First I'll be going over the passives. Uh, we start a scion get resists. Uh, here come through get the life wheel. Um, attack speed, very good attack speed nodes. Uh, crit multi. We want to get as much crit multi as possible. Jewel sockets. Um, then we, since we have Path of the Shadow, we can start from the Shadow um, and save two, three points. Get the come through, get elemental damage, get life, get life leech. Uh, Vow Pact. Then come up here, more life, more lightning. This is my next node. 15% multi and 20, 16% uh, uh, lightning damage and 15% multi. That's uh, pretty decent. Uh, wand notes, crit multi. Come down here, uh, more crit multi over here. Uh, jewel socket, life nodes, penetration, life. Point blank is very uh, key. And these leech nodes are also very key. Um, for the jewels, you mainly want to look at uh, attack speed, projectile damage, life, and crit multi. So these are just some leftover jewels for when I played as a uh, discharger. Um, let's go over the gear real fast. Uh, this is my wand. It is just a tier 1 lightning damage and everything else is multi-crafted. Um, this is going to be my next big upgrade. Uh, this is my helmet, plus two barrage projectile. I bought this for around seven to ten exalts. Uh, but prior to this, I was just using a uh, tempest binding for my for my uh, kinetic blast setup. Um, ideally, you want a plus two tempest binding, but this is good enough. Or you can craft a rare helm with essence of uh, horror for the more elemental multiplier. But it's really not needed because you're going to be one-shotting everything regardless. Shield, like cost today, this is a mandatory unique. Um, you don't have to worry about accuracy problems after using this. Um, chest, I'm using a Uriel's Fostering. I six link this myself and that's why I'm using it. Um, unfortunately, this is the snake and not the Roa, so it's not the best, but it's Yorios regardless. Uh, neck, I'm using the Biscos Collar. Uh, this pretty much doubles your efficiency while you map, but it's not needed. Um, it's very recommended, but it's not needed. Uh, rings, you want to use opals. These are just mediocre uh, opal rings with a little bit of uh, life and elemental damage. Uh, boots, you want a open prefix for the craft for the 8 to 12 percent craft on here. On the yeah, this craft right here. 
uh, is a prefix and it's a T1 prefix for for armor. And these are very nice boots. Um, Headhunter for a belt, not needed again, but um, it is very fun. Gloves, you want to have elemental weakness on hit. Everything else is just cherry on top. Again, I use this pair of gloves for shield charge uh, when I was playing my discharger. Flasks, uh, Vinktars. I'm debating whether or not to take this out or not uh, because it'll free up a uh, suffix for my diamond flask. Um, because I don't take too much reflect damage, so we don't really need a Vinktars to sustain life leech. This is another mandatory unique. Um, it'll give you plus two projectiles. So Barrage currently fires three. This gives two and this gives two more. So it, in total it gives seven projectiles without using GMP. Um, yeah, so so three mandatory uniques or two mandatory uniques, this and this, and this is a mandatory flask. Um, everything else is rares, but um, since we are using so many uh, locked slots, say plus two barrage or um, a Ellie weak on hit glove. Um, it is pr these are pretty much unique. So you have to fix your resistance with your uh, boots or in ring slots. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And we're trying to scale as much crit multi as possible. Um, for our barrage and our kinetic blast so let me go over the links kinetic blast is linked with uh, gmp increase crit and wed barrage is linked with increase crit multi uh, slower proj le focus added lightning and wed um, these are just more multipliers for the barrage damage in here, I have a cast when damage taken, level 20, linked with summon lightning golem and summon ice golem. Because I am using ascendant with elementalist, I am allowed to have two golems. So both of these will help. And at wand, I have orb of storms, linked with power charge on crit and increase crit for bosses. So this is for sustaining um, power charges. My boots, I have Wrath and Herald of Ice. Uh, Herald of Ice is linked with Onslaught uh, for the for the Onslaught uh, up, upkeep. It, it gives me 100% Onslaught uptime all the time. And last link is uh, Enlighten for a little bit of mana. Lastly on the gloves, it is Val Haste with increased duration um, and also a Flame Dash for getting up and down cliffs. So, with our auras up in in town, uh, our barrage DPS is 40k and kinetic blast is 22k. All right, so I'll be doing a map demo. Um, I'll be doing vaults, uh, and this is a very good way to make money to run uh, vault and breach at the same time. So I'll mute the mic and enjoy. Let me bend your hair for a minute.
and that's the gameplay. Um, it's a very fast-paced gameplay, uh, game style. So, and it kills bosses very, very quickly, as you can see. Like I dropped that old boss with extra life, um, in less than like five seconds. So it's a very good vault farmer, and it's also a very good boss killer. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.